I'm at work super early this morning. I could not go back to sleep after I woke up around 3.30. I just had too much on my mind and I was thirsty so I had to get up and get water, which definitely woke me up. And now it's like 5.15 and I'm at work already ready to work. Yeah, good times. Happy Monday. <laughs> it's a fasting day though, so coffee and water. And uh, you know, get through this day per usual. I think it'll be a pretty easy day for me. I'm gonna try to go into it with another positive mindset, kind of like what I did this weekend, where I just told myself it was gonna be a good day, and then those days ended up being great. So just have to start being more positive and think with a more positive attitude. I know, of course, I'll probably still have some of those negative feeling days. I think that's just a normal human natural emotion, basically, but I think I'll be okay. I think I'll get through it fine, so it's kind of the plan anyway. I'm not really sure how busy I'll be today. I know I have a lot I have to do. I have to finish wedding invitations, and I'm actually writing down a list right now of everything I have to do at home and in my life and, and everything. And today, after I get off, I am hoping that I can go into my workout and get a really good one in. I haven't really been too focused on my lifting as much recently, um, but I'm feeling good today. I don't feel as sore as I have been, which is nice, so I should be able to go into it and get a really good strength exercise training in. So I'm gonna do that whenever I get off. Probably focus on my lower body, glutes and hammies and legs and all that good stuff. And then after that, I'm not really sure what we'll do this evening, so. I kind of have a little bit of things planned, but not everything, which is fine. Just go into it with a positive attitude. That's all I gotta tell myself. I'll let you guys go so I can get started on all this. Put my face on. These fluorescent lights make me look like I have awful dark circles under my eyes. And I hate it. But moving forward, we're gonna go cover these puppies up. <laughs> I'll talk to you later on this afternoon. I feel like today was the longest day ever, and now I'm home. And I'm so grateful that I'm home. And I'm hoping the evening will go by quickly so that way I can go to bed and wake up tomorrow morning and enjoy my eat day, basically. Because I came home and automatically was like, that almond butter in my pantry is calling my name. And I don't want to eat today because it's fasting day. So I'm trying to stay away from it. So I think I'm gonna go downstairs and work out. I'm kind of excited to do my workout today because it's gonna be um, a lifting workout, one that I haven't done in a while. Um, you know, just like in general, lifting with the barbells and um, dumbbells and stuff like that. It's just been a long time since I have felt in the mood to lift like this before. I've been doing a lot more body weight things, um, just kind of like after I screwed up my back a couple weeks ago, I was kind of having issues like feeling motivated to get back into lifting. So I kind of wrote down what all I was gonna do and now I can't find my list anywhere. It's probably in my bag somewhere, don't know. But um, I'm gonna do that this evening and then uh, I don't really know what the rest of the night's gonna bring. I have so much I need to do and I feel like I never have enough time, but it's always like as soon as I get my workout done, then I'm tired and I don't wanna do anything else for the rest of the day and I just wanna like binge watch Netflix on the couch. But try not to do that tonight and it'll probably still end up happening. It's Monday after all. Gotta, you know, recoup after the, the long weekend. But anyway, uh, that is kind of what the plan is for right now. Stay out of the pantry. Don't eat my all-American butters and work out. And then we'll see how the rest of the day goes. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later on tonight though and uh, we'll see just how that works out for me. Came home and I got in my workout this evening, which is good. It wasn't as hardcore as I was wanting to go, but I did up my weights on my deadlifts, which is nice. I'm up at 105 now instead of 95, which is good. And um, hopefully, I can move up from that shortly. I've kind of been stuck at the same weight for a while just because I haven't felt comfortable enough to push myself to go further, but that's one of my goals is to be comfortable enough to push myself to lift more weights. So that's kind of the goal, the plan moving forward is to just try to up them at least twice a month or something like that so I can lift heavier. Because I do enjoy it, it's just um, pushing myself to do it that I have always been kind of afraid to move forward and do but so i came home and i did my workout this evening and then i showered and then ian and i sat down and just watched some letter kitty i told you guys nothing was going to happen tonight i have all these invitations that i need to address and send out by this week because our wedding is 
two months away starting tomorrow. So that's something that I gotta get done this week. Other than that, I am tired. I'm ready for bed. I didn't sleep very well last night. I was up pretty early. I was out of bed by four and at work by 5.15. I think I told you guys I was there really early. So hopefully tonight I can get some sleep. It's nine o'clock now, so we're gonna hit the sack here in a second. But just wanted to update you guys. But that is basically how the day went for me. And that's all I have to say about that. Talk to you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, everybody. I'm not in the best mood today for whatever reason. I think I just don't like the way I look. I'm looking at myself in the mirror right now and I just don't like my outfit. And I just don't think I look good today. So it's not playing very well on my mental state of mind this morning at all, which sucks. But I'm here and I'll get through the day and deal with it, basically. Today's a neat day. So for breakfast, I brought some oatmeal that I'm gonna make with some strawberries and have like a strawberry oatmeal, I guess. For lunch, I brought a tuna packet, a salmon packet, and some of my extreme wellness um, wraps with some lettuce. So I'll make some wraps for lunch and some yogurt. And I think I brought some carrots too. So kind of a little bit of variety, not too much. I'm already so hungry this morning trying not to break, but I have coffee at my desk that I think once I start drinking that I'll feel a lot better. So I'll probably do that as soon as I get done talking to you guys. Another news, I just hope my mood gets better because I hate feeling like this about myself. I kind of had a hard time last night too before going to bed. Just a couple of those days, I guess. Hopefully it passes soon. I'll let you guys go and I will talk to you later on this afternoon. Well, I'm home and I can say that my mood's a little bit better for the day, but I've just been kind of quiet and kept to myself, if I'm completely honest, just because of how I was feeling, which is okay. Sometimes you need to do that. And I'm so busy at work right now for some reason, and I don't know why, which kind of sucks, but I got through it and I'm home now and I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna run on the treadmill and burn those calories for the day. And maybe I'll feel better after I exercise. We'll see. Today went okay for breakfast this morning. I had my oatmeal with strawberries and some of the performance nut butter, which was filling, but I was still kind of hungry after I ate. I just chugged some water, went downstairs for a walk, and then held out until a little bit past lunchtime. So I'm proud of myself because I thought I was gonna want a snack or something. And then for lunch, I had a salmon and a tuna wrap with some yogurt that I had berries to. And somebody brought cake to work today, so I had a piece of that, some chocolate cake, but the piece that I grabbed was like all the frosting missing off the top of it. So, I mean, that makes me feel a little bit better about eating a piece of cake. I don't feel like I ate nearly as many calories and having that. But like I said, besides that, I just had the cake and a little bit of lavish bread chips that I had still in my drawer. And that's all I've had today. I have like 570 something calories left. 73 according to my watch calories left for the rest of the day so now when i go downstairs and work out and stuff that'll definitely go up and i'll have more to eat for dinner i'm gonna do tiki masala um i got this sauce in colorado while you were there and i've been anxious to try it i got it at littleton market i believe the place where hannah recognizes me hey hannah how you doing and um, we're also going to have these mini pitas which i'm excited about because i love bread and then uh, we'll make chicken and that'll be what we do for dinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and get off here though and change so I can go downstairs and run and get that out of the way for the day. And I'll talk to you guys later on tonight before bed when we sign out of tonight's vlog. It kind of feels ridiculous how sore I am from yesterday and then after running today. I was telling Ian before we came into the bedroom that I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get out of bed tomorrow. Like that's how like sore I am. I got stiff and just like hurt to move. Oh man, I'm sore. My workout yesterday really uh, killed me in other words. But anyways, after I ran, I made dinner. It was a tikka masala. I think that's how you say it. Um, we made some jasmine rice as well and some little pita bread things pita pockets teeny ones and we had that for dinner and it was really good and after adding in all my calories and everything for the day i am a good calorie count i've made it through the beginning of this week again and um it's been a while since i've been able to really do that so i'm grateful 
seems like things are finally kind of getting back to normal for me and it's just a good feeling because I need that. In other news, the rest of this week you guys will see me sporting chief swear because we're doing a spirit week at work. So I get to kind of dress up this week which is kind of cool. I'm tired guys. I think we're ready for bed. So I guess I'll go ahead and sign out of part one of this week's vlog. I appreciate all of you guys so much for being here for me and helping me past couple of days. I just felt kind of down. So I appreciate it. And thank you guys. And thank you for stopping by and watching this week's vlog. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you guys on the next one.